There we go. There's that awesome music. Good morning, everybody. So sorry I missed out uh, being here with you yesterday. Software just wasn't cooperating. Hey, Joe, good morning to you, sir. Glad to see that you are here. You know, I, I thought I'd learned my lesson. I talked about this a little bit on the radio show yesterday. You know, I came in here, fired up the laptop, getting ready to do the show. And the software that I used popped up a message and said, hey, there's an update. Do you want to install the update? No. No, I don't. Not right before I do a show. Uh, and I said, oh, okay, we'll do it later. No sweat. And then it took me in the software and wouldn't let me log into Facebook. So anyway, that's the way all that works out. Good morning, Cliff. Good morning, Jeff. Jeff, I've got somebody I need to introduce you to. Um, we'll, we'll figure out how to do that. I don't think he's on Facebook. But uh, we'll make a phone call, make some kind of introduction. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. If you are listening on your favorite podcast catcher, Stitcher, TuneIn, iTunes, whatever the case may be, or you're watching on YouTube, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com where you can be a part of the conversation just like Joe and Jeff and Cliff and Catherine are. Good morning, Catherine. And uh, drop your comments down, down there. And if you're watching on the replay, that's cool too. Um, you can still head over there and leave your comments. Today... I want to address a common question that we hear in the workplace. Hey, do you have a few minutes? I love that question. You know why I love that question? Because it's one of the few questions that's easy to say no to. No, sorry. Uh, but you can check my calendar and put some time on the calendar. What? Now, I, I do think... I do think that this, well, I'll come back to that. Here's the thing, right? We want to be helpful. I've told you a lot of my story. My mom and I were lived with her parents when I was growing up. I spent a lot of time around my grandparents. My grandmother would, I don't know, <laughs> pick up a stick and beat me with it. If she thought that I was telling people no when they asked for help. It's not that I'm saying no. I'm saying that now is a bad time. The reason that this is important, and this kind of comes back, Monday we were talking about know the outcome that you're trying to create. Uh, yeah, it's still laughing at me. Monday was know the outcome you want to create today, yes, and yesterday on the radio show. No, say no to the things that don't get you there. Just say no. Now, the reason that most people don't do that is called FOMO, fear of missing out. Oh, I, I need to go to this meeting so I know what's going on. Do you? Do you really need to know? Try this. This is the experiment that changed the way that I looked at. I mean, I, for a long time, a long time, I had an automatic rule set up in Yahoo, or not Yahoo, Outlook. If a meeting request came in, automatically accept it. I accepted everything. You sent me a meeting request, booked it, right? And then I started thinking about what that was doing to my outcomes. That pushed my outcomes or the time that I was making available to work on my outcomes out to the margins, out to the edges. Well, that's not cool, right? So then I started blocking some time in my day. And, but I still had the rule turned on. So then I get these meetings that overlapped with time blocks that I had set aside to work on my stuff. So then I went in and turned the rule off. But I still wanted to say yes. And then somebody challenged me with this. So here's your challenge today. Say no. Say no. If the meeting happens without you, you weren't required anyway. No, I'll get to that in just a minute. The meeting happens anyway, then you weren't required anyway. Or the meeting organizer can email you back and say, hey, we really need you to participate. When can you make it? Now, now you're doing it on your time, on your calendar, not, um, not, not giving in to everyone, to everyone else's calendar. Now, if the meeting, and, and here's the, the, I hear it all the time. I know exactly what you're sitting there squirming in the chair 
saying or thinking or on the treadmill. But if they have it without me, and I, I, I really, I really do need to know that, then here's what has happened. You have commoditized your contribution to the organization. Ooh, sorry, I should have warned you. Steel toe boot day today. If if you if you think that you should be there, and the meeting organizer doesn't, then the level of value that you are delivering uh, is wanting. You need to raise your level of value, your level of contribution to a point where they don't want to have the meeting without you there. That's how you do it. Joe says, and Joe is uh, absolutely right, the law of availability directly influences your value. Could not be more correct. Right? If you are, look, two ways to look at this. You, You call a plumber. Do you want the plumber who can come right over, or do you want the plumber that you have to make an appointment with, or doctor, or IT guy? Substitute whatever service you want, right? If the plumber can come right over, guess what? He ain't busy. Why isn't he busy? Might be something to think about. If the doctor can take you right away, why is that? Because there's nobody ahead of you? Why is that? Right, So scarcity props up, validates your value. Scarcity props up and validates your value. That's all. And when you do that, and when you have that kind of validation, guess what else you can prop up and raise? Hmm? Anyone? Anyone want to venture a guess? No? Nobody? Your price. When you are hard to find time with, then you become more valuable. And there's nothing wrong with being a premium priced resource. That is true. Catherine says sometimes it's because you developed a a relationship that makes them prioritize you. Aren't relationships valuable? I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about how we create value for other people. And and it doesn't have to be monetary value. It's really, it's life quality value. And it doesn't matter what context you're in. If you're at work, you're at home, you're in church, whatever. What people want out of that relationship is an improvement in their life quality. If you're at work... Look, I tell people this all the time. If you want your boss's job, start doing his job. Start thinking like him or her. Don't make them ask you for something. Bring them what you think they need. That forces you to think like they do. And they'll feel much more comfortable having you there. It might make some people... Uh, uncomfortable, but the ones that make the mo- the ones that become uncomfortable are the ones that you're threatening. All right, I'm going to ramble if I keep going, and I could do that all day long. Look, here is the the point, right? Value your time. If you don't value your time, nobody else is going to do it for you. Place the highest premium on your time. I can't. It just drives me nuts to hear people say, "Well, it only cost me a little bit of time." That's the only thing you can't get more of. Don't do that. Value your time. Be a premium resource. Put a premium price on your time. And other people will too. It's Wednesday. Coffee shop show's coming up at 9 o'clock today. Be sure and tune in for that. Come on by the coffee shop if you want. Old Town Coffee in beautiful downtown Five Points uh, here in Huntsville. And uh, we'd love to see you there. Have that live cafe audience. Joe joins us almost every week. Love to have you come by as well. I think that's it. Today's Wednesday. Oh, co-working night tonight. Six o'clock, Huntsville West. Three, I think the address is 3000 Ninth Avenue here in Huntsville. Check out cwnflyer.com. cwnflyer.com to, yeah, and Catherine, will you put this link in the comments, please? cwnflyer.com. That'll show you all the workshops that are scheduled tonight. 
the foundations workshop, the ideation workshop. Does your idea have legs? Is it going to be profitable? Can you do it? Is it a good idea to do it? That is in uh, week number two tonight, I think. So you can still plenty of time. You can come by, jump in on that class. That one starts at seven o'clock. All right. That's it. Be back here again tomorrow. Another installment of seven minutes in the morning. Go today and value your time. Look at your to-do list right now and start lopping things off that aren't moving you toward your goals. They're helping somebody else achieve theirs. All right. Okay. That's it. All done. You guys have a great Wednesday. Talk to you in the morning.